Welcome to GovConnect. I'm your Gov Guru, Dana Hajakis. Northern Nevada is currently in a state of emergency, but don't panic. Here's why it's so important that our city, county, and state officials work together to ensure our community is safe. I'd like to start out by saying uh, the National Weather Service has been predicting a big event for our region and the Truckee Meadows Flood Management Authority has confirmed it with modeling. We've had a series of briefings today uh, and they have confirmed that all current models indicate that by Sunday we will be in a flood event. We will have exceeded the flood stage at the Vista Gauge in Sparks and uh, the Reno Gauge in the city of Reno. And there is concern also for the small streams and ditches and low-lying areas. Some people have described this as a 2005-like event. Uh, we are currently working with the state of Nevada to deal with the potential of this winter storm, the outcome of this winter storm, and the potential flooding that we may see over the weekend. What we want to do is make sure that we're looking out after all the residents of the county. This is a regional impact that this flood's going to have, and we want to make sure that all of our citizens are safe. We want to work directly with our local agencies, the sheriff's office, the cities, and all of our emergency response to make sure that they're adequately funded to do the deeds that they need during this time, but also that we're communicating with the state to make sure that we have state resources available. All right, looking for a motion. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Commissioner Hartung. Um, I move that we declare Washoe County a, in a state of emergency and that we turn powers over to the manager to mobilize resources as necessary. Second. I, I have a motion by Commissioner Hartung, second by Commissioner Jung. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries unanimously. A declaration of emergency allows our county manager to address issues in a timely manner, as in with a state of emergency. And what it does, it gives him the resources to allow our crews to work at more hours than usual, and funding and, and a number of different things. So the funding will come um, and makes that available quickly. We don't have to fall under certain purchase agreement rules. We have to make sure that our, our citizens are safe, and this is what allows us to do that. Thanks so much for watching GovConnect. Make sure you connect with us at sosu.tv.